Today in Arkansas, it is going to be another scorcher of a day. Back in those 90s, it's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, but a select few has a chance of seeing a little bit of rain coming up in two minutes. I'll tell you who has the best chance. This extreme heat and dry spell we've been seeing across the natural state is causing some water companies to ask their customers to pull back on their water use. I'm McKaylin Johnson and coming up, we're going to be talking about just how much water is being used. Plus, baby on board? A Texas woman says she believes her fetus counts as a passenger in the carpool lane. Grab your phone. We're getting your opinion in 15 minutes. Now, Wake Up Central with Karen Fuller, Hayden Balgavy, and meteorologist Scott Covert. Well, good Tuesday morning. It is 630 and welcome back to Wake Up Central. Thank you for joining us. Meteorologist Scott Covert talking about the rise in humidity today. Just I not know. quite as bad as tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a bit better. So the last couple of days you know, we had the low humidity. It was still hot, mm. but today the humidity war returns. The temperature's warming up. Uh, the we get a weak cold front tonight that could provide a couple of stray showers. You know, fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at what's happening in your temperature department. You're waking up, you're starting off door Tuesday under mostly sunny skies. Temperatures quickly warming up already at 74 in Little Rock, 70 in Searcy, 71 in Russellville. As you're driving off to work out the door, your rush hour forecast 74 degrees, lots of sunshine, but your drive home, you're definitely going to need that AC on full blast 99 with heat index values ranging from 105 to 110. And as we go about the evening hours, we actually have a chance of rain. It's all a part of a cold front that's working its way through the state today. It's going to be scattered in nature. Not everyone's going to see it, but if you do, Consider yourself lucky that cold front. It brings some slightly cooler and less humid air that should hang around the rest of the week. But the long range data still suggest we are going to be hot and we are going to be dry at least for the next few weeks. Breaking overnight, new water woes. Van Buren County Judge Dale James says areas of the B Branch water system are without water. No word yet on the exact cause, but there's a post on the B Branch Water Association website saying it's aware of the outages and some low pressure throughout the system and that crews are working to fix it. A water buffalo is available at the B Branch Fire Department for people to fill up containers. Other water companies asking customers to conserve as this drought gets worse. Mm. Some of those companies are worried about how much water they will have in the near future. Wake Up Central's McKaylin Johnson joins us live with more details. McKaylin, good morning. Good morning, Hayden and Karen. The need for water conservation is co coming from northern and western Arkansas in cities like Mansfield, Hackett, and Cave City. In central Arkansas, Conway County Regional Water is asking its water customers to conserve. Their main issue is distribution. They have 18 different tanks they fill to, 13 different, different pressure plains pumps they service, then three to four cities they give water to as well. And not to mention all of Conway County and Moralton is there as well. Dale Gifford with the Conway County Regional Water District says it's just been a big pull on their systems right now with all of the extra that comes with what they do on a daily basis. We asked Gifford on a normal summer day, 90s and normal and a regular amount of rain, how much water is used? He said anywhere from four to four and a half million gallons. Now during these extreme conditions we've been seeing, he says to add about a million more to that. That's a 25% increase and they can't take any more. We're done. We're, we're, we're at our maximum. That's the reason I'm asking because our tanks has been steadily uh, declining over the last few days. Uh, yesterday it really hit us hard, so uh, I started, I made that decision yesterday and started making some phone calls. Gifford says this water conservation ask is voluntary, but if a change isn't seen soon, it could easily become a mandatory one. Now we know it's hot out there, but even just the slightest of pullbacks on how much water you use can make a big difference. Gifford says they are looking to getting grants for their infrastructure systems so they don't have to raise a water water prices just yet. Live in Little Rock, Michaela Johnson for Wake Up Central. Ah, uh, McKaylin, we are in desperate need of some rainfall. Mm -hmm. Any, we will gladly take it. Thank you so much for those details. Mm -hmm. 
Well, as we continue to talk about it, the heat and dry conditions are also taking a toll on Arkansas farmers. Now, weeks without rain leaving cattle with little to no grass in some areas and farmers with much less hay. Now, since hay production is slowing, it's actually causing higher prices. One farm manager says he might have to make changes to make sure all his cows are fed. Right now, we're having conversations of consolidating the herd due to the drought. So at the end of the day, that's going to affect the consumer because there's going to be less cows we produce to put on your plate. Farmers we spoke to say consumers won't feel an immediate impact because of the higher cost of hay, but it depends how long this hot and dry weather lasts. New this morning, more Arkansans are waking up under burn bans as the hot and dry weather continues. Outdoor burning is now off limits in more than half the state. Take a look. This is the most updated map from the Arkansas Forestry Commission. Lone Oak, Montgomery, Nevada, Washita, Woodruff counties all added since yesterday. The entire state remains under a moderate risk of wildfires. The fire danger is much worse in the West, where a massive wildfire is threatening the giant sequoias in Yosemite National Park, some of the oldest trees in the world. Overnight fire crews did make some progress. The Washburn fire is now 22% contained and no structures have burned. Bradley Blackburn reports hundreds of firefighters are battling these flames under brutal conditions. It is a round-the-clock battle to save some of the oldest trees in the world. At Mariposa Grove in Yosemite National Park, crews are protecting giant sequoias with a custom-rigged sprinkler system. we got to use every tool in the toolbox. The sprinklers are being used to maintain moisture in the grove, home to 500 giant sequoias, including the 3,000-year-old grizzly giant. Dry conditions and temperatures in the high 90s are fueling the Washburn fire, which has already burned through more than four square miles. Everyone has to just be kind of on their toes and constantly planning for what could possibly happen. And you're thinking 24 hours ahead, 48 hours ahead, 72 hours ahead. From the air, crews are mapping and tracking hotspots. Firefighters say right now the flames are thankfully moving predictably. The good thing is, is that we've had no major weather events that have made this fire act erratically and go different directions. But officials say the blaze is burning so hot it creates its own weather system with updrafts sending debris into the air, nearly hitting one firefighting plane. Hey, just want to let you know a branch went right over the top of us, pretty good size. I don't want to take a, a chance of busting a window on an airplane or hurting an aircraft for this. Scientists believe climate change is making the sequoias more vulnerable to wildfires and that California's drought has led to more intense wildfires. The National Park Service says more than 85% of giant sequoia habitat has burned since 2015. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. In a THP 11 update, a casino near Russellville is one step closer to reality this morning, but it comes amid a strong push to stop it. Now on Monday, the city's planning commission unanimously approved development plans for Legends Resort and Casino. It'll be operated by the business arm of the Cherokee Nation tribe in Oklahoma. Now it already owns 140 acres of land north of I-40, but just yesterday we told you about the group Fair Play for Arkansas. They submitted signatures for a ballot question to block the casino. That's currently being verified by the Secretary of State's office. The largest tunneling project in North America is about to get underway and it's happening in Hot Springs. The city plans to dig a tunnel through a mountain to start getting water from Lake Washita. And the machine that'll do it will arrive today. The machine will dig a five foot tunnel, a total of 2600 feet through Blakely Mountain near Mountain Pine. The city says up to 23 million gallons of water per day will flow 17 miles to a new water treatment plant at a cost of 100 six million dollars. It's the largest infrastructure project in Hot Springs history. City of Little Rock is bringing back a popular area of Canis Park near Midtown. New basketball courts are going up in the park. In fact, the city just finished prepping the empty lots under Interstate 630 for the project. The old courts were removed back in 2018 during the 630 expansion project. Three full basketball courts and a new half court are expected to be ready for play this fall. 
All right, Scott Cover, what's the one thing we should know about the weather on this Tuesday? So the humidity is back in full force. That's driving our heat index value back between 105 and 110 this afternoon. The actual high in Little Rock climbs to 99, 101 in Hot Springs, 102 possible in D Queen. We do have a weak cold front moving through tonight. It brings a chance of rain and some cooler weather for the rest of the week. We'll have a look at your extended forecast coming up.